In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the volume of a rectangular prism and a cylinder in units of cubic feet and cubic meters. So let's start with the rectangular prism on the left side. The formula that we need is this. It's equal to the length times the width times the height. So we have a length of 8 feet, a width of 3 feet, and a height of 2 feet. So it's going to be 8 feet times 3 feet times 2 feet. Now if we multiply 3 by 2, that's 6. And then 6 times 8, that's 48. Now when dealing with volume, the units are always cubic units. Notice that we're multiplying units of feet 3 times. If you were to multiply x three times, this will equal x to the third power because you would add up the exponents. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. So if you multiply units of feet three times, then the unit become cubic feet or feet to the third power. And so that's why volume is always in cubic units. It could be cubic feet, cubic meters, cubic inches, cubic yards, cubic something. Now on the right, we have a cylinder. And the formula that we need to calculate the volume of the cylinder is this formula. It's pi r squared times the height. r is the radius of the cylinder, which is 2 meters, and the height is 8 meters. So if we plug the information into this formula, we're going to have this. 2 squared is 4. 4 times 8 is 32. So the answer is 32 pi, and then here we have square meters times meters, which will give us cubic meters. So it's 32 pi cubic meters. That's the exact answer. Now for those of you who want a rounded answer, if you plug in pi into your calculator, you get 3.14159. If you multiply that by 32, we can say that the volume is approximately 100 Point five cubic meters. So that's how you can calculate the volume in units of cubic feet and cubic meters for these two 3D shapes.